Hey, it's Mark here from the barn at French Mountain in Lake George. And uh, we're a massive, massive facility here, 8,400 square feet. As you can see behind me, a uh, very, very big facility. And we do lots of weddings and special events. So a bunch of people have asked me, how do you make your eight foot farm tables? And you can see um, I'm making an order right now for a rental company actually. So I thought I'd take the time to show you how we do that. Okay, so in a nutshell, I'm just gonna go through this real quick. Now that I've got one built, and ready to go all right these are eight feet long and these are 36 inches wide that's what the rental company wanted now these ones fold so they fold up for ease of operation and storage and yes they are heavy but they do fold fairly flat okay so you're gonna cut all your wood at eight feet your six boards square everything off you're gonna line them up on the table that you're working on and then you're going to cut five of these, five of these, because you need one, two, three. You need four here and five on this side, your cross pieces. Then you're going to notch the center out two inches. I'm working with two by six rough cut lumber. All right. These are going to take headlocks, two and seven eighth inch, two and seven eighth inch headlocks. Um, it replaces a, a three eighth lag, so it's a very, very strong screw. Hinges you can get at the uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, they're about four bucks a piece, four or five bucks a piece. And I'm using two inch screws on top and I'm using two and a halves and threes on the bottom to give it that little extra stability. Up here I'm using a three and, three and five eighths ledger lock. I got four inches to go through so you can't go anything more than like three and a half or so. And then a couple of uh, three inch screws just to kind of give it that, that, that barn look, that, you know, that black look, I like that black look. All right, so that's pretty much how you doing you're going to use 18 of the headlocks per table and uh, obviously all the rest of the screw count there I can't remember what it is but and again your measurements for this are going to be eight feet if you want eight feet and if you're using the eight feet remember you got to come 16 inches out that's what that's designed for it's all relevant so 16 inches out you've got 32s five of these 32s and then the legs are cut at 27 that gives you about a 29, almost 30 inch table height. So 27 on the legs. You're gonna drop your uh, cross beams nine and a half inches down from the bottom of the leg. All right, and then your cross pieces are 68 inches. And the notch is two inches in and it's a two inch notch. Just like this here, this notch, that's a 32 inch board. So you've notched the center at two inches. Basically, you're notching at uh, 15 and 17 for a 16 inch center, okay? It's very, very solid. Now, you're probably asking, how does, this, how does this go together? Well, if you look over here, these are the cross pieces, and they're notched out, so they fit right in, just like this. They're actually sitting on a six foot sweetheart. So you can see they go in just like that. Rental company has to have that. Now, the six foot sweetheart the legs are further out to the end because it's designed for two people. The eight foot farm table, the legs are further in, actually 16 inches from the end to here, right here, 16 inches. That allows you to, to put a chair on the end as well. All right, now if you wanna make these and you wanna make them so they're not portable, that they don't fold, then you're gonna make them like this. Basically that cross piece, is just going to be screwed in and you also notice I put the leg support cross piece on the outside so pretty much same thing just a little different no notching on these um, the ones we have here at the barn we we did put polyurethane on them so they have and you know we stand the top down this is our sweetheart table has a little polyurethane on it so it's got a nice shiny coat on it good for food Rental company, they wanted 36 inch ones. Again, they're a little heavier. Um, we're gonna grind the tops down. Everything else is gonna stay natural. They're gonna stain and poly these themselves once they pick them up. So I have a total of, oh, looks like 11 built there already. That's the 12th one up there. I've got four more to go. Uh, I've pre-cut all the lumber. It saves time. How long does it take to make one if you have to cut the lumber each time? Probably about an hour and a half. But once all the lumber was cut, as you can see, that's three more tables right there. Three more tables. Everything's cut and laid out very nicely. 
takes me about 20 minutes to put one of these together once the lumber's cut. So, you know, maybe a half hour. Um, but it's, uh, it's a lot of work. I got the system down pat. So hopefully this helps you. And again, from the barn at French Mountain, we hope everyone has a great season this year. Take care.